some of our turns to receive what God has for his people. My God, I don't know about you, but there's something running the avenues of my soul. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place right here, right now. He wants somebody to praise him and honor him in this building tonight. Brother, many testify. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Right We're not about to see God. God gets me through it. He's touched me and He's helped me. I feel a lot better today. God has touched me. He's strengthened me. Hasn't got all my strength back. The bone knee ain't completely well yet, but it's going to get there. God's going to bless me. He has already. I love Him and I appreciate Him. The good, good uh, thing we heard today, you know. The, our daughter, we had a, I'm not going to tell you because it's personal. It, it, it involves our daughter. Everything worked out real good. We've been praying for this year. Months and months and months. Hallelujah. About it. Praise God. God worked it out today. And, uh, when she called me and told me about it, I couldn't help her cry. Praise the Lord. I knew God. I and I told her, I said, God did this. You and your daddy's, me and your mom's been praying several months. Praise the Lord. God answered prayer. And I just praise him tonight. And I just thank him. And I love him with all my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I still don't love the Lord. Amen. He is so good to me. He takes care of me. No matter what comes upon me, I know God is able to take care of me. And I'm going to trust him. Somebody lift your hands and worship the Lord. Would you do that right now? I just feel led that we ought to stand to our feet. I think we ought to lift our hands toward heaven. I think we ought to just praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just feel like it's somebody's time. somebody's time right now in the name of Jesus to receive what God wants you to receive. Just praise Him if you feel the glory of God. Just lift your hands and worship Him and praise Him in this service right now. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just feel his presence in this place. God's wanting to come down and touch us tonight like we've never been touched before. I just feel the abundance. I hear the abundance of rain in this place today. Praise God.
that is able to deliver you and bring you to where you need to be. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. I change not. Keep on searching and keep on praying and keep on believing for I'm in your midst and I am here to answer your prayer now. I am the Lord thy God. I am He. I am the one that risen from the grave and I'm alive forevermore, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you bow your head all over this building? I've got a message, but I won't preach over this. You may be here tonight. You may be struggling. You may ask why. God only knows that. I feel out of God that this service is for somebody that's going through a hard time. Tonight, do something special in your life. Maybe you prayed for that loved one for a long time and nothing's happened. Maybe you prayed for your health or needs that you might have. Don't seem to be nothing going on. your time. Tonight, if you need God, do something special for you. I want you to step out of that aisle and ask God, Lord, you didn't do it for me yet, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep on coming until you do it. I know you're here. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come? Come on, I need some prayer warriors here. Come on, in the 
name of Jesus. Somebody prayed for you. Amen. Amen. 
There ain't man anybody else won't testify. Holy this I like to say that it's good to have these ladies from Greenwood uh, coming. Uh, we appreciate them for coming, don't we? Amen. Of course, there are hours now that I've been here more than twice. And uh, we claim you after that. Of course, Brother David, you know what I told y'all? Of course, y'all been hours now for five or six weeks, haven't you? And we appreciate that. And, uh, we just love all of you and appreciate you so much, Sam and his wife and family. You don't know what a blessing. Uh, you know, these, uh, Brother Ronnie, he comes all the way from Greenwood to come to church. That says something. You know, they pass a lot of churches coming up here. You know what that tells me? They get fed when they get here. That's what it's all about. What it's all about. God bless you. It's our prayer. Anybody else want to testify? Brother Milton, testify. You look like you want to. <laughs> I just thank the Lord tonight for saving the sanctified and giving the Holy Ghost many years ago. Thank God for being part of the, one of the best churches in the state of South Carolina. Yeah. 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 This is my church. Been here just about ever since it's been here. Just about. Don't like what now. Well, God's been here a long time. I want you to know that. Paul's <laughs> one of our charter members. Yeah. The oldest two charter members yeah. left with Dawg Church. Yeah. That's something. Amen. And I do love the church. I love everybody in the church. I just want to do more for the Lord. I want to do the best job I can for the church. Whatever the Lord called me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Amen. That's that mindset. <laughs> I am not lazy. Never have been lazy. I don't mind working. I do anything I can to help. Anything. I think anybody knows me that well, I'll do that. Uh, if, I, if I had plenty of money, I'd pay off everything we own on the church. Paying off lock, stock, and barrel. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of money. But I thank the Lord for good health over the years. I thank the Lord for letting me be part of this great church. Amen. Amen. I know you don't have it all, but we'll take half of it. No, <laughs> <laughs> you the rest of it. That's all. You made good money sewing, I guess, but I don't know if you made that much to your sister mom. <laughs> But you know, they're not really that old. they just been around a long time. Right. We appreciate both of them. And we appreciate you. God bless you is our prayer. Would you stay? Remember, Wednesday night, uh, there will be church here. For all you that don't go to camp meeting, I know a lot of folks don't go. They've never been. They don't want to go. and That's entirely up to them. But we will be having regular church here Wednesday night. So if you're not going, come on. And uh, somebody will be ministering and you'll be blessed. I just want to say real quickly a thank you to everybody in the church who supported uh, uh, the Nicaraguan mission trip that my daughter is, is taking. Uh, she'll be flying out on Thursday. So I want you to be praying uh, that God will bless her and bless the entire FCA from Dixie as they travel to Nicaragua for five or six days and minister there in Nicaragua. Pray for this dad that he will be okay for the next five or six days as they travel out of the country. But again, she wants to say, and I want to say, very, very big thank you. Uh, this church stepped up in a huge way. And many people in the church donated and helped. And I want to say personally thank you uh, that allowed her this opportunity to go to Nicaragua and to minister in missions. Uh, thank you so much for what you have done. Uh, and she'll be giving us a report, or I will. She probably won't say anything. She will stand in front of people. But I'll give you guys an update after she returns of some of the things that they did in the trip itself. Father, thank you for this time in the house of God, and we just thank you for the way that you ministered. Father, the way you touched in our lives, Father, we just thank you for this service, and we just praise your precious holy name today, in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. We couldn't catch nobody going by. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.